This week on Fly Rod Chronicles, we're heading through my home state of West Virginia and heading south. We're gonna catch some fish, do a little bird hunting, and some dog training, and have some fun. Oh, oh baby, look here, look, oh, look at this. So stick around, and shortly, we will be on the river. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. The state of West Virginia presents Fly Rod Chronicles with Curtis Fleming. We'd also like to thank these fine sponsors. Yeti, Toyota, Fly Rod Chronicles Signature Rods, Carter Motors, and Cabela's. So uh, th th this is a pretty cool break from musky fishing, right? It, it, it sure is. Yeah. Uh, throwing 10 weights uh, <laughs> every day for four days uh, feels like your arm's going to fall off. So yeah. it's nice to get a, a trout trout weight fly rod out here and and, uh, and make a few uh, casts with dry flies, not chickens. Yeah, 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 that's right. And, and what's cool about it is the diversity of what you guys offer. I mean, you know, you can go bass fishing, you can go musky fishing, and here we're on a mountain stream in cold water, you know. That's right. And we, um, um, you can go fish small streams, large rivers mm -hmm. uh, for multiple species, and um, you're, not, uh, you're not restricted by the time of year. We, we can find fish 12 months out of the year. Yeah, yeah, right it's mid-June, and we've been doing warm water, right? Yeah. And I mean, wet wading. And we, we could have wet waited this, but sure. we'd be... A little more comfortable yeah, in the right. waders this morning. <laughs> that's right, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, let's get on a trout, what do you think? Let's go give it a try. All right. Ooh, that was nice. He, he's a little guy, huh? all butter, didn't you? It's almost like you just jumped over, huh? Too much leader, huh? <laughs> Another little brown, huh? Sweet. Yeah, she's gorgeous. 
You want to throw out that rock down there? Yeah, I do. All right. Throw this peach thing. We'll start with that. All right. find something. Something should be It's time for Trout Unlimited's Release of the Week. Can't get enough of Fly Rod Chronicles? Check us out online. You know, not only does Southern West Virginia have some great fishing, but you know, we also have some good bird hunting. And I called up my good friend Jacob and we did a little bird hunting slash dog training. Plus, I was getting a little low on flies, so we got to take the birds and turn them into flies. What's going on? Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How good. about you? Good. Jason Henderson. Jason, nice to meet, to meet you. you. How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Doing very well. You all ready to go find something to do? Jason put the hammer on that one, man. You know, as much fun as that was, this is a fly fishing show. The water come up and was high and made it a little tough. But I'll tell you what, that's when the big fish come out. You know, uh, again, I had all intentions on fishing the six weight. Um, with the water pushing, um, I'm, I'm, I'm choosing the seven weight. Um, Again, the water is very pushy. Uh, you know, the seven weight, the seven and eight weight, what's great about it on the Fly Rod Chronicle Signature Rod is 
it's got the fighting butt. Um, the handle is a little bigger, it makes you feel like you got, got a hold of something. It, and it makes it easier on fighting fish and, and, and just zeroing that cast in. So, um, so anyway, um, you know, I was, I was looking at flies here earlier and, and um, we, we truly were planning on, you know, throwing nymphs. These little itty bitty, little tiny things. Um, got some zebra midges, um, you know, just, just, just ears, hair, just throwing little things at them. But, you know, we, we got to get, um, we got to get down and dirty and, um, I'm going to throw something bigger and tie a booger on here. moving fast. Water is just zipping. Oh man. Right there's a big one. Huge, huge bow. Try to catch it on the drift. Come in, baby. Oh, oh baby. Look here, look, oh, look at this. We got a big, big, big bow. Look at this big, oh my goodness. Big, big rainbow. Oh, I got it working for me. I got it coming to me. You know, when I hooked into that big rainbow, I thought, here we go. The fight is on. You know, the water's up. Um, I knew if it got over in that fast lane, it's gonna be a long time before I land this thing. Surprisingly, it was like one of the shortest fights that maybe I've ever had on a fish that is that big. I mean, I, I was just like amazed that it come in that quick. And, um, you know, it usually doesn't happen like that. You know, fish, it jumps and does flip flops and all that. We call it TV fish. Um, but I needed to land this fish and I'm all right with it. It's not going to fit in the net. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Holy Toledo. Look at this guy. Look at this fish. My goodness. Look at this thing. Oh, unbelievable, man. This is crazy. Stick around. Fly Rod Chronicles will be right back. This segment is brought to you by Fly Rod Chronicles Signature Rods. So this is our focus on the fly. And, uh, you know, we just got done shooting some birds. And, uh... You know, we're kind of, river's blown out, so we're gonna tie some flies that get us, kind of get us through this next uh, upcoming season for the spring. Um, we're gonna work on a kind of big, kind of string leech type sculpin. First up, we'll just get this shank kind of chucked up in the vise here. And then we'll take a piece of braided line, or spider wire or power pro or whatever you feel like using. Fold it in half, we wanna end up with our fly kind of somewhere in that three to four inch range. Okay, so the next step, so we're gonna cover the back half of this shank, and it's not gonna be much, with just a little bit of, of, of orange dubbing, because lots of times you look at sculpting, and you can see those gills, or you can see a little bit of lighter colored belly up on them. I'm gonna take a tail feather off one of the pheasants we shot this morning. But this is gonna kind of give us the flare and the, and the, the body and the head of a sculpting. When you look at them, they're kind of teardrop shaped. When I lay this in there, I want to make sure that those butt ends of those pheasant tail fibers are kind of just captured in the in the thread and in the dubbing. And that's it. 
take her out and swing. You know, as fly fishermen, we do practice catch and release. Yep, yep. Um, it's hard to do that with honey. A little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, we went out, got some good pheasants and... Uh, One chucker? Yeah, got, yeah. got a chucker. And um, being conservation friendly, um, you're tying up a couple flies. Yep. Um, a lot of flies in there, isn't there? There's a lot of flies in there. Yeah, and you know we get to we get to put that resource to its fullest use. That's it. You know, so we can we can tie flies with it and eat it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, we're going to take these back home, and um, we get to know a couple chefs, and, and I'm looking forward to it. We're going to have dinner, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. But the state of West Virginia also, as you know, started a new law about wasting game. It's Westervelt Ecological Services, time for conservation. Yeah, that's, that's been needed for a long time. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of it goes without saying, you know, it, as hunters in, in a hunting community, you know, we're not out there just to kill stuff. Right. You know, we're not right. shooting just to shoot things. It's, yep. you know, we're, we're doing it to feed our families. You yeah. Know. Now, when we shoot cool stuff and, <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's that much better. It is that. It is. But still, yeah. you know, at its, at its basic, you know, element is, is procuring food. Exactly. And I think that, you know, again, I say fly fishermen are conservationists by nature. I think that gets the hunters back into, if you shoot it, oh yeah, you need to eat it. You, oh, yeah. Or you need to donate. You need to eat it or, or donate it or, or yeah. make sure it goes to, goes to use. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, you can't. You know, it's, it's as good a meat as you can get. Yeah. Yeah. So you're a fly tire. Yep. I'm a fly buyer. <laughs> um, so how many flies you got in there? No, there's a couple of hundred dozen. <laughs> a couple of hundred dozen. <laughs> Man, we, we appreciate you, brother. It's my pleasure. This my was pleasure. a blast. This Thank was a blast. Closed captioning brought to you by Soft Science, Supreme Comfort Footwear. I'm just a fishing bum. If I don't have the gas, then I stick out my thumb. I've got to get there one way or another. I'm a fishing bum. What an incredible season this has been. And we feel blessed to be able to travel to places like Costa Rica, New Zealand, Alaska, California, and Belize. But right here in my home state, I was able to share the waters at Pipestem State Park with some good friends from Canada. Go over to Glade Springs and watch my daughter get her first spring gobbler and catch an IGFA world record, our state fish, the brook trout. I got to share the Blackwater Canyon with my good friend and songwriter, Nat Frederick. and float the Shenandoah and Potomac River with my good friend and legend, Joe Messenger and Brian Kelly. And experience watching a 12-year-old boy catch his first muskie on a fly rod with his father. I am truly blessed and thankful to be able to share this with all of you.
Yeah, baby. They hadn't seen hillbillies from West Virginia out here, have they? Hey man, let me go ahead and baptize you, man. Because the Lord has given me the gift of the Holy Ghost. I want to thank Curtis for taking me out, catch my first muskie on my flower, and I'd just like to thank him. Baby, give it to me, baby. Give me some Costa Rica style. Always oh, taking me the roof. It's a catfish. It's, no. it's a channel cat. On, on the game changer. On the game changer. <laughs> Welcome. Wow. You're wonderful, West Virginia. <laughs>